I'm Sean, and, I'm Tommy. and th um, we're doing Passion Time, and our question is, um, like, can we draw a realistic, like, 3D object? Yeah, so like an illusion. So, what we're going to draw today, like, well, first of all, it's not what we're going to draw, but it's an example of what we've been practicing as an illusion, like this, if you set it down, it looks like you can put your hand through it, um, but what we're going to draw today is what looks like um, an A that is literally um, jumping out of the paper like it's floating. Yeah. So, so um, we have to do like oh, too much radius. Here. We have to do so. a lot of um, lines on how to make the shadow. So we're gonna you know, try to go step by step. Yeah. Okay. So first of all, um, we have to start by just drawing an A. Looks okay. Looks good. All right. So we have to start by drawing like an A. And we recommend to have a good eraser in case you need it. So to draw the A, I just made it's like we. I didn't make like a total A with like a point. You know, like a triangle. This one has a flat surface. You don't even have to do that, um, but I believe it is a. It will um, if you're gonna do a triangle, you wouldn't want to follow our steps all the way because then our shadow would be very strange. You know, your yeah. shadow wouldn't be the actual object. Mm -hmm. So now I think we draw out, right? Yeah. Like this. Jeez, it's been a while since we did this, right? Yeah, because we had a two-week winter break. Yeah. <laughs> Um, and then that, you can see, is, like, making the A look a little, like, um, realistic. See how this one, um, you may even be able to little tiny bit see the, um, like, line, um, yeah. coming from here. So, now we're going to draw a couple more lines. We're going to draw that one. Yeah. Um. We are going to draw one right here. Yeah, I think I have one already. Then you connect it. And then you make sure you have one like this. Yeah, so you connect these. the reason you need this one first, this one first, before you do this step is because you need to have, you need to know where to stop. You move your line right there. And um, that is going to start making the 3D effect. So, this, you know that little line we put right under here, Tommy? Yeah. That is um, this line that comes kind of up from right here. Okay. So, you can tell that my line went here and went up to there. Cause that's, yeah. And then you are going to shade this. Like that. Okay. Then, Tommy already has it draw this line yeah. and so far it looks it looks almost done but there's no shadow so it's not done yet yeah. um, I'm going to draw Wait, yeah. oh yeah you need a line going through here and then like that and a line going so the reason we put that is because these two lines are for the shadow. Yeah. This is so, our actual A. Yeah, so anything below this line is going to be shadow. Uh -huh. So down here is shadow. Here. And that's just to help us. So yeah. now I'm going to just, I think I'm just going to kind of draw the shadow. Yeah, so then you just darken it. Well, Normally you would yeah. use like maybe a marker or something. Well, not you don't have to darken it yet, though, because you have to have this line right here, and then you erase this line. Um, and then you have to have it go down. 
so you can see now I use those kind of shapes from the starting point here and now I can use these to form these two things on my shadow so I pretty sure you can get a sense that this line I made is this line but the shadow now I have to use, I have to draw it to here and I'm going to erase this line this line and this line And then I'm gonna draw more. And then I'm gonna have this one kind of overlap. So I might have to redraw some of my lines. Because I'm gonna have this like that. It's gonna overlap this part of the way. Here, I can help you in a second if you need help. Okay. Um So you do shade up here in the little uh, part. So right here you have to shade because that is like the hole in the A where like it goes down, you know? Mm-hmm. And then I'm really quickly gonna shade in this. So, now you're probably wondering a couple things, like it doesn't look like an A yet, I have to erase a couple lines, so how do you need help, Tommy? It doesn't look as big as you want to know. It's okay, don't worry, I'll help you. I feel like I did something wrong with this thing. Okay, um, can I, I just show them something? Yeah. Okay, so right now. You can see my shadow, but I just before we do the shading, you're probably wondering how in the world does this shape um, become like this? Because it's on the paper. It's like on the paper. Well, you have to cut it. You have to cut along some sides to create the illusion effect. So. First, we're gonna shade a little, and I'm gonna help Tommy. So yeah, I did something wrong somewhere along here. Okay, I can help fix it. So this is you know if you ever mess up, you just gotta erase. Problem solve. Yeah, it was like something here's wrong. And now you can. Erase a couple more lines. Yeah. yeah. And now you have to just fix it up real quick. Okay. Um, I'm sure you'll get the hang of it though. Yeah. Okay, now I can make because what you, no, what Tommy needs to do, he needs to figure out a way to like make the shadow kind of be overlapped by the A. Well, mine could just be from like a totally different angle. Mhm. Mm like, so. Now what we're going to do is we do not shade the top because that's where the light is shining on. Obviously, the shadow's right under it. It's like kind of on an angle, yeah. but the light is shining on, so we do not draw. But we need to know where to draw light and not light. So the reason I'm going to erase this part right here is because I have to shade this one in light. So it's going to be like this, yeah. a light little shadow. This one needs to be shaded in light also. Yeah, so the shadow on the bottom, that's like the whole A, is like darker because there's not as much yeah. light on it. Because, yes, because part of the light is shining on this. But then this entire side is not being shined. Near is this. Yeah. This has to be dark because this makes it look more like an A. Now that there's no white in that empty, 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 empty space. Yeah. So what we're going to do now is now we're going to color this part dark too. And Tommy, I'm going to be right back. All right.
Alright, so right now, I don't think mine looks as good as Sean's, but like here, this is the side, and this is like the bottom oh. part. Here's all the front end of it. While I was gone, I got a, a Sharpie. Or and Crayola. Or Crayola. <laughs> and so I'm just going to move my A a little. And then this part is really, it really actually going to be kind of important. So we're going to color this in really dark, right? So it's going to look as dark as the shadow. If I don't have this really pitch black marker to go in the shadow, it's going to look like this. Now you have barely any idea where the shadow is, so I have to do this. Yeah. Now that I have this, and remember, this thing is on here, but never on here because this is all black. Yeah. It's not even darker or anything. You just don't even have to draw that line. And then, Tommy, I'll give you the marker in a second. But um, watch the difference from how it had been. And how it is now. Yeah, so just take still a look at that. Some light on here, but there's it's like not as dark as the essential shadow. The yeah. shadow isn't like parts of it are dark. It's just like this much. It's like just this thing, this space that's not being taken up by light. So that's why this has to be the darkest part in the entire piece of the A. Yeah. Way darker than this. And here is the cat. And then I'm going to color in a couple of white spaces because I colored this in fast. You don't want white spaces on your shaded spot at all. It makes it look sloppy, and it doesn't create the illusion effect anymore because as much because um, it doesn't look like the light doesn't look like it's shining on it too much. Yeah. Like, as much. Okay, now tell me why you have to color a little more. But remember, this is what our final product is going to look like. These do not look similar at all and I'm just gonna erase my eraser marks a little more but there's a reason these don't look similar I have not cut at all yet yeah so cutting's tricky I have to cut right to here and then up, a little. up through then I cut down then, then this is the prize and I cut down all the way here and then I start to cut down halfway through here, but where the cut mark is, is I put a line right there. Yeah. And then it still doesn't look right because from here now, I have to cut all the way down. Yeah. And now it looks like the A is um, jumping out, just like uh, this one. There's two A's drawing. So Tommy's going to cut his now. <laughs> you want the bigger ones? Okay. As long as I keep a finger on the line. So the reason Tommy's is a little different is he made more of like an illusion shadow. He made it look like it was realistic, but like a little different. And then you can set yours down. Okay. And um sorry, let me get into it. So that's our video. That is how you make a three D A and um that looks like it's jumping out of the paper. So um thank you for watching. Bye.